Hi, I'm Praveen Shetty, Assistant Professor of English, Government First Grade College, Hiriyarka, Udupi District. In today's uh, video lecture, I would like to discuss the poem, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. This poem is written by an African-American poet called Maya Angelou. And this poem is prescribed for the second semester BA students. Before going to the poem, let us know the background of this poem. In this poem, the poet says about two birds. One is a free bird and another one is a caged bird. And here, the free bird represents the white Americans who enjoyed all kinds of freedom. And the other bird is the caged bird. And that bird represents the African Americans or the blacks who were denied of the freedom or who were exploited by the white people. So here in this poem, the poet Maya Angelou uh, shows the kind of uh, problems that she faced because she belonged to a black race. E Kavanavana Vodo Kenta Munche Nimge America Dali Irwanta Samajika Paristiti Gotterbeku, even the Kavanadali Yerudu Pakshi Galabage Kavi Matna Tare, Vandu Swatantra Pakshi, I Swatantra Pakshi Alina Billy Jandrana Pratinist, E Billy Jandru Yella Ritia than Tahaku Galana at Yella Ritia than Swatantra Vana Padedru, Adre Ali Irwantaha Inundu Janang Andre, Adu African Mulada Jandru. Aurige, Yauda Ritia Danta, Hakulana, Saldom by Nura, Arvatu Patra, so the Kagi or Horata Matidru, Adane, E. Kavitieli, Maya Angel Rauru, Heltare. Let us go to the first uh, um, stanza. So, a free bird leaps on the back of the wind and floats downstream till the current tains. So, this free bird is a bird which waits for the wind, and once the wind starts, it uh, spreads its wings and it floats downstream and uh, um, it flies till the current ends. So it's waiting for that wind to blow so that it can freely fly in the sky. And then it uh, dips its wings in the orange sun rays. So as the bird flies, um, the wings of the birds are almost uh, dipped in the orange sun rays. It is orange sun rays because it is the morning sun and the color of the sky is almost orange in color and dares to claim the sky. So by looking at the bird, uh, we understand that the bird is uh, flying as if it is the king of the sky and the whole sky belongs to it. So even the Kavanadalli, Ili Swatantra Pakshiyu, En Martadandra, it waits Adu. Gali Barota Tanaka, Adu Kaita de, on the Sala Gali Banda Takshana, it leaps, a bird leaps, it jumps and it flies in the wind and it floats downstream. So the Gali Ali Harata Harata, Gali Shakti current, so the wind current. So, so wherever it takes, it goes and uh, it flies freely. And when it was flying, Adutana Rake Nebichi Haradwaga, a Belagina. Suryana da Kirana u Akasha Bane on the Kittale Bandavana Parkonditu. So a Pakshian Harado than a Nodidre Akashawe a Pakshia Samraja Anta Anste. In the second stanza, the poet speaks about the caged bird, and this caged bird is moving slowly or it is stalking down its narrow cage. So it's moving slowly in its uh, small cage and uh, it cannot see through the bars of rage because uh, it is the, the bars there is blocking the view of the bird and uh, the poet calls it uh, bars of rage. Actually, the bars are not in anger. It is a bird which is angry because it cannot uh, fly out of the cage. And the bird feels as if its wings are cut, clipped, means cut and his feet are tied and it feels as if its feet uh, are tied and it's not allowed to move. But the bird does one thing and that is it opens his throat and it sings. So it tries to sing 
the song of freedom because it wants freedom. So that's what the poet expresses in this stanza. Even though Charanadali Kaviyu Panjara Dolagina Pakshiya Bagge Heltare, a Panjara Dolagina Pakshi became a Swatantra Nele, a Kandre, Uduandu Panjara Dali, a Panjara Bahala Chikadadu, Adrali Adu Nadarta, it stalks Bahala Nidana Vagi Nadarta, and can seldom see through his bars of rage. Mate, a Pakshi Gay, Hara Prapanchavana Nodu, Swatantru Sahila, a Kandre, this bird cannot see through the bars of rage because it is blocking Adu. Other drusty and muchi hakide, so hagagi, adu haragi no dunte at Kaktaila, and its wings are clipped and the heltare, other ke tana rake and tundu madi the anubavak, the atwa other kalugan and a cutti than the anubavak, the other rake and a cutu madila, atwa other kalugan and cutluila, other other aritia vandu anubavak, the Adre a pakshi hardly ke hokde and uh, it sings the song of freedom. Swatantra the hardana adu gatti agi hardly ke prayatna martade. In the third stanza, again the poet speaks about the caged bird and he says that this caged bird sings with a or with a loud voice, with a fearful trill, refers to a loud voice of things unknown but longed for still. So it speak, it sings about the song which is unknown to it, uh, unknown because uh, the song is about freedom and the bird doesn't know what freedom is. But it longed for still, it still needed that freedom, and his tune is heard on the distant hill, for the caged bird sings of freedom. So this tune or this song of the caged bird is heard in a far away hill, for the caged bird sings of freedom. And this song is about the freedom. And uh, this song could be heard from a distant place. And uh, he, the poet may also may be implying that there are other caged birds which also uh, hear this a song of freedom. Even though Murane Charanadali Kaviyu Punaha Panjaradolagina Pakshiya Bagge Hedatare, even though Panjaradolagina Pakshi Adusa Hartade. ಅದು ಹೇಗೆ ಹಾಡುತ್ತದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅದರ ಸ್ವರ ಬಹಳ ಗಟ್ಟಿಯಾಗಿ ಇದೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಈ ಹಾಡುವ ಹಾಡು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಬಹಳ ಅಪರಿಚಿತವಾದದ್ದು ಸೋ ಈ ಹಾಡು ಸ್ವಾತಂತ್ರ್ಯದ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಇರುವಂತದ್ದು ಆದರೆ ಈ ಪಕ್ಷಿಗೆ ಸ್ವಾತಂತ್ರ್ಯ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಅಂತ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಆದರೂ ಇಟ್ ವಾಂಟೆಡ್ ದಟ್ ಸಾಂಗ್ ಆ ಒಂದು ಹಾಡು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಹಾಡು ಹಾಡಬೇಕು ಸೋ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ಯೂನ್ ಇಸ್ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಈ ಒಂದು ಹಾಡನ್ನು ಎಷ್ಟು ಗಟ್ಟಿಯಾಗಿ ಹಾಡುತ್ತದೆ Dura the better the Lusaha cares for Bodu for the caged bird sings with freedom. E hardu Swatantra the Bagir went to do so a Dura the Lirua bere Pakshigalu, even the Panjara Dolagiru Pakshigalu, a hardana cares for Bodu and the Kavi Ili Helter. In the fourth stanza, the free bird thinks of another breeze, means once the free bird has uh, uh, flown and it has returned from its flight and it's sitting somewhere and it's waiting for another breeze or the trade winds. So uh, when this uh, breeze blows or the trade wind blows, uh, there is a soft uh, uh, sound uh, and this sound is coming from the leaves of those trees. So the poet calls this as sighing trees. So he personifies uh, the trees here. Uh, sighing is something that is related to human beings, but he calls the tree as sighing. Actually, it is not the um, trees that are sighing. Actually, it is the uh, the caged birds which are sighing. Or he may be even referring that the trees are also uh, fixed to a place. They do not have freedom and they are also sighing. And uh, this free bird is uh, flying out and uh, uh, it's uh, eating the fat worms because that is its food. These worms are seen in the bright dawn of the lawn okay so on a grassy area these fat worms are seen and uh, uh, the bird uh, the free bird goes and eats them and he names the sky his own so after eating the bird flies in the sky and it flies as if the sky belongs to it so the free bird enjoys all kinds of freedom like the white americans uh, 
ಇನ್ ಅಮೆರಿಕ ಈ ಒಂದು ನಾಲ್ಕನೇ ಚರಣದಲ್ಲಿ ಕವಿಯು ಸ್ವತಂತ್ರ ಪಕ್ಷಿಯ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಸ್ವತಂತ್ರ ಪಕ್ಷಿ ಒಂದು ಸಲ ಹಾರಾಟ ಮಾಡಿ ಪುನಃ ಅದು ಬಂದು ಆ ಒಂದು ಮರದ ಮೇಲೆ ಕೂತಿರಬಹುದು ಈಗ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಗಾಳಿಗಾಗಿ ಅದು ಕಾಯ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ದ ಫ್ರೀ ಬರ್ಡ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನಾದರ್ ಬ್ರೀಸ್ ಅದು ಕಾಯ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಗಾಳಿ ಬೀಸಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸೊ ದ ಟ್ರೇಡ್ ವಿಂಡ್ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಸೈನ್ ಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಈ ಗಾಳಿ ಬೀಸುವಾಗ ಆ ಮರದಲ್ಲಿರುವ ಅಲೆಗಳು ಆ ಶಬ್ದ ಮಾಡ್ತವೆ ಸೊ ಆ ಶಬ್ದವನ್ನ ಕೇಳಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಆ ಮರಗಳು ಅಳುತ್ತಿವೆ ಅಂತ ಅನಿಸ್ತದೆ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಫ್ಯಾಟ್ ವರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ವೆಯ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಅ ಡಾನ್ ಬ್ರೈಟ್ ಲಾನ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಒಂದು ಸ್ವತಂತ್ರ ಪಕ್ಷಿಗೆ ಆಹಾರಕ್ಕೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ಕೊರತೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ದ ಫ್ಯಾಟ್ ವರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆ ದಪ್ಪನೆಯ ಹುಳುಗಳು ಆ ಒಂದು ಹಸಿರು ಹಾಸಿನ ಮೇಲೆ ಬಿದ್ದದನ್ನ ತಿಂದುಕೊಂಡು ಅದು ಪುನಃ ಹಾರಾಟ ಮಾಡ್ತದೆ ಹಿ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಕೈ ಹಿಸ್ ಆನ್ ಆ ಹಾರಾಟ ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ಅದನ್ನು ನೋಡಿದವರಿಗೆ ಆ ಪಕ್ಷಿ ಆಕಾಶವೇ ತನ್ನದು ಅನ್ನುವ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಅದು ಹಾರಾಡ್ತದೆ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಸ್ಟಾನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪೋಯಮ್ ದ ಬರ್ಡ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಸಿಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೇಜ್ಡ್ ಬರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇವ್ ಆಫ್ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಕಾಲ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇವ್ ಆಫ್ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೇಜ್ಡ್ ಬರ್ಡ್ ನೆವರ್ ರಿಯಲೈಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ನೆವರ್ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ಡ್ ದ ಫ್ರೀಡಮ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಫ್ರೀಡಮ್ and it only dreamt of it but these dreams were never realized and because of that this bird's shadow shouts on a nightmare scream so the bird sometimes at night it wakes up and it sees a, a bad dream and it shouts it screams so and uh, it uh, doesn't get uh, the kind of freedom that it wanted because its wings are uh, cut and its feet are tied and uh, uh, he can only sing he cannot enjoy any freedom at the moment but he can only sing so even the eighth charanadalli kaviyu panjarada pakshiya bagge heltare so idralli en heltare andre ee ondu panjarada pakshi yavudra mele nintide andre grave of dreams grave andre ondu samadhi so kanasina samadhiya mele nintide ಇದು ಸ ಕನಸಿನ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಈ ಪಕ್ಷಿಯ ಈ ಪಂಜರದೊಳಗಿನ ಪಕ್ಷಿಯ ಸ್ವಾತಂತ್ರ್ಯ ಇನ್ನೂ ಅದು ನಿಜವಾಗ್ಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಕನಸು ಕಾಣ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೂ ಸ್ವತಂತ್ರ ಬೇಕಂತಿದೆ ಆದ್ರೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೂ ಸ್ವಾತಂತ್ರ್ಯ ಸಿಗ್ಲಿಲ್ಲ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಸಲ ರಾತ್ರಿಯ ಹೊತ್ತಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಅದು ಕನಸನ್ನ ಕಾಣ್ತದೆ ಆ ಕನಸು ಬಹಳ ಕೆಟ್ಟ ಕನಸು ನೈಟ್ ಮೇರ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಆ ಕನಸನ್ನ ಕಂಡು ಅದು ಗಟ್ಟಿಯಾಗಿ ಕೂಗ್ತದೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಈ ಪಕ್ಷಿಗೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ಸ್ವಾತಂತ್ರ್ಯ ಇರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ ಫೀಲ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಲಿಪ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಫೀಟ್ ಅ ಟೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಅದು ಕನಿಸ್ತದೆ ನನಗೆ ಹಾರುವ ಸ್ವಾತಂತ್ರ್ಯವಿಲ್ಲ ಹಾಗೆ ಓಡುವ ಸ್ವಾತಂತ್ರ್ಯನೂ ಇಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸೆಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಪಕ್ಷಿ ಕೇವಲ ಹಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಮಾತ್ರ ಅದರಿಂದ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಅದು ಸ್ವಾತಂತ್ರ್ಯದ ಹಾಡನ್ನ ಹಾಡ್ತದೆ ದಿಸ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪೋಯಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ರಿಪಿಟೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಟಾನ್ಸ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾನ್ಸ ಈಸ್ ರಿಪೀಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಹೈಲೈಟ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಕೇಜ್ ಬರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿನೈಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಫ್ರೀಡಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಕೇಜ್ ಬರ್ಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ಈಸ್ ಟು ಸಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ರೀಡಮ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಕೇಜ್ ಬರ್ಡ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ಸ್ the black africans who were denied of all rights and uh, they had to suffer a lot in their life even the koneya charanadalli kaviyu murane charanavanne punaravartane maartare a punaravartane maadu uddesha a panjara dolagina pakshiya kashtavanna highlight maadodagirutade so adukoskara adana punaravartane maartare so illi avaru antimavagi helodu enandre aa panjara dolagina pakshige yavude swatantra villa adake illi hogliku aagta illa yakandre adu panjara dolagide adu kevala swatantra da haadanna ashte haadabodu hortu america dalli iruvanta black africans athwa aa africa moolada janara sankashtavanna ee ondu kavitheyalli ಕವಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಫಾರ್ ವಾಚಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಡಿಯ